Yesterday, I uploaded a video sharing my experience using the Uber Eats platform to place my first order. First time Uber Eats customer order. So I got to see how it works on the end of a customer placing in, placing an order. I'm a worker. I've always used it to earn money. I'll include that link in the description below. I learned a lot. Now, in that video, I just have to stay home a few days and I have to plan my next couple of weeks. I know I won't be able to shop until the end of the week because I can't go out and think that I'm going to do all the things I want to do for myself and work and think that I'm going to have time to shop. So I'm going to place the order, an order that I need, while I'm having my coffee. But I want to share something with you. I'm going to, I'm going to shop at Uncle Giuseppe's, the one in Massapequa, but I have East Meadow opened. Why? Because the East Meadow store is listed on the Uber Eats platform. The Massapequa is not. I live in Freeport. And the cutoff is Merrick because I've shopped at Uncle Giuseppe's for Merrick, uh, Merrick residents many times. But it don't come all the way to Freeport, but the East Meadow does. Well, I show you this. You see on the Uber Eats website, bananas, 86 cents. Uncle Giuseppe's website, bananas, 79 cents. When you shop directly, dot input output no middleman they don't mock up their product prices they just don't if you place an order directly on their website so this is just another example that if you wanted a more steady job and not work the apps you could be an in-store shopper to stores because this is the wave of the future I'm just using this store and this example because I want to place an order and I'm going to show you a few more examples. On the Uber Eats website, Uncle Giuseppe's corn muffins, a package of four, is $8.78. But on their store website, the four pack of corn muffins sells for $7.99. No mock-ups of product prices. I'm placing an order at Uncle Giuseppe's, the Massapequa store, directly on their website, not through Uber Eats. They have sales. I'm going to show you my list. For this one example, Eggo Waffles, original Belgian style, thick and fluffy, six each in a box. They have a special sale if you have your phone number associated with their rewards program. $2.99. Well, it's listed on the Uber Eats Uncle Giuseppe's. $5.81. On the Uber Eats website, I placed it in my cart so I could see if they would ask me if I had my phone number associated with a reward card to see if they have it on sale. So I'm just gonna to go to checkout just to see what happens. So no, the sale did not come off and they did not ask me for my phone number to receive the sale price. So just like anything else, you have to shop around online, see if there's a special sale, see if you can save money, cut costs because this is a huge time saver once you get used to it. In my opinion, placing an order directly from the Uncle Giuseppe's website that's linked to the store I want to shop at, they have a lot more items listed on their website. Uber Eats was limited. Another thing. Now, this is a learning curve. I know the next time I shop for myself, I'm going to take notes of the products that I'm looking for on their website because there was a few products, at least three, that I couldn't find on the website. I couldn't find to add it to my shopping cart. So I may do for now. I want to try it out. I want to get through the, um, I want to go through the motions. And I see this being a huge time saver once in a while. And this is a store I really do like shopping at. 
I see they're waiving a ten dollar service fee. I'm gonna see if that's true. I'm not. I, I I try to look it up. Like, is there a minimum amount that you need to spend in order to for them to waive the service fee? I, um, now I'm going to see if there's a delivery fee. And can I add a tip on here? I don't know if they accept tips. You know, I I will hand them a five dollar bill because I have another five on me. However. I want to see if you can do that on the website at checkout. So another thing I liked about this on their website, I can leave notes, which I know you can do in Uber. I like that, you know, this one I say the way can be a little over. Thanks. I like that broccoli Rob. I really, I couldn't find the product that I was looking for. Natural veggie burgers. It's in the meat department. They don't have it listed on their website. I'm going to tell them that because I want to place that order. I put it in the notes. I would prefer the Uncle G, Uncle G's all natural veggie burger. And please substitute Uncle G's all natural veggie burger from the meat department. Top shelf. Thanks. I know it's there. But if they give me this, I'm open to trying something new. Um, what else? Oh. Another thing with their sales, when you get to the spot that you're adding the product to your cart, I don't want three, I just want one box. And it tells you add two more to claim three for five with purchase of three. So I say best comparable. And I say if in stock, number 26 size pasta, please. I think that's a little smaller rigatoni. However, if they don't have it, which because I shop for myself, a lot of times they don't have it. I'll take the regular rigatoni. That's fine. So this is the kind of stuff that I learned browsing. Oh, the sale. I'm really happy I got a box for sale. Oh, and another thing. The chock full of nuts. They're having a great sale. My favorite coffee. So I'm getting two decafs, one regular. Buy it when it's on sale. $7.99 a can. That's great. And I really do like chock full of nuts. Instant coffee, too. For iced coffee I should see that I should see if that's on sale on the uber website let me check it out no it's not listed for sale on the uber eats website under under the uncle Giuseppe's marketplace food listing nope not at all however they have Duncan on sale that's listed so I don't know if you would receive their in-store sale if it's not listed on the website platform. So no, it's not on sale, but it is in-store. And that's why I'm going input-output directly to the source, no middleman. I'm going to click on checkout. Estimated total is $72.47. Let's see what happens. And I, that's after waiving the service fee. I'm happy I took the time to compare shopping directly at a store website instead of through a third-party website like Uber Eats, Instacart, Shipt. Delivery fee is $13.50. Well, I'm perfectly healthy. Now I'm going to take the time to go to the store tomorrow and I know what I need and I know what I want and I learned a lot. To me, it's not worth it because I know I'm going to be in that area. Oh, I could go Monday. I know the sales, which I already know what I'm going to get. I really don't want to pay a delivery fee of $13.50 unless I have to. The option is here. The choice is here. It's great that... We have this opportunity to jump on an app, jump on a website, place an order. That's really not a high delivery fee, in my opinion. They did waive the service fee. But for me to pay the $13.50 when I know I'm going to pass the store anyway in the next couple of days, and I already browsed and shopped, and I know what's on sale, and I know what I want, well, I'm going to go get it myself. Of course I am. But I do I regret doing what I just did? Not at all. And 
it's because I learned and I feel that's worth it. You don't, you can't get to a store. You can have anything delivered to your door. And if you have your favorite store, one of your favorite stores to know that they can deliver to your door, that's more of a plus. It's worth the delivery fee of $13 and 50 cents in this example. I'm sure I would think the delivery fee would be more the higher your subtotal is. I would think so. I'm going to remove a few items from my shopping list because I want to see what happens with the service fee. I want to see what happens with the delivery fee. Let's check it out. I'll remove that and remove this one. Let's see what happens. Um, check out. Service fee is still waived. Delivery fee is $13.50. Let me do it one more time. I guess that's their delivery fee. That's really good to know for now on today's date. It, it's a great service to have if you cannot get to the store yourself. As long as you can use your phone, use an app, order online. I, I completed this order on my desktop. It's really good to know. I don't feel it was it was a waste of my time. This was all worth it. The learning curve. And I'm really into the industry. That's what I enjoy doing. I like breaking it down. So it's worth it. $13.50. Throw them a little cash tip. Begin checkout. They don't have any of my information yet. Let me see what happens. What the heck is this? You can add a promotional code. And this says, DoorDash driver tip optional. I wasn't aware of that. Let's check it out, more information. Gratuity is optional. 100% of the tips are paid directly to the driver. So you can add a tip before you check out and they're using DoorDash drivers. Wow. I believe that's how it's done. I thought they were just solely in-house. They use a third party app, probably curbside pickup. They have their in-store shoppers because I speak to the staff. I, I, I like that store. I speak to the staff. They know who I am. They know I'm a gig worker. They probably have in-store shoppers and they use DoorDash as curbside pickup service. They should add Uber to their list. <laughs> wow. Wow. Holy cow.